Sleeping AV family and welcome back. Took a little bit of a break, was taking a trip this past weekend to go see some friends and I actually bought a pre-release kit. So this is a build and battle and then with the pre-release bundle you get three extra packs too. And if you guys saw my Twitter, you saw that I had pulled this card from the pre-release kit from that build and battle. And oh my gosh, I could not believe it. I pulled the Cleaver Trainer Gallery card as well, which I think is, I pulled before, and a uh, Galarian Mr. Rhyme. But this is an amazing pull. I love this card. I know it's a very desirable gold card because it is a stadium one, a well-played stadium card. But I love the snob that's in the background. You might not be able to see it from there, but I love that song. It's outlined in gold. It was absolutely a gorgeous stadium card. When I saw this gold card in the set, I was like, that one's really, really pretty. I hope I pull this one. I know I want to put it in the set, and I was hoping to pull it myself. But I just, just was astonished that this is the first secret rare of the set I pulled, and it was the Path to the Peak. Just that little snob in the background and the outline of the snowflakes and the gold make this card look really, 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 really cool. So I, I had to put it in the background today. <laughs> and oh, it's just amazing I got to pull that. I didn't do a video of it, I just, I just wanted to open the packs and I did put a picture up on Twitter, but I did want to share it with you guys today. As well as getting the Hisuian Basket Legion uh, pre-release promo cards as well. And I will show you guys the code cards from those packs. Um, I only got that there. There's actually quite a few cards. They hadn't taken me to this card shop yet. And I definitely want to go back whenever I uh, have another visit with them. So. We got some single packs today. Kind of want to see if we can pull some more secret rares out of these. And we will get into them right now. Got about 14 single packs to decide to do today. I've shown off ETVs, I've shown off triple packs. Now it's time to show off some single packs, which I don't think I've opened. I've done a couple of one pack magics, but I don't think I've opened like strictly single packs, maybe since release day. So I wanted to do a video just on single packs too. I kind of wanted to do a battle of the pack artworks, but can't seem to find all of, enough of them to just do that. So that's a cute cynical card. So we'll just do it this way, so it'll be fine. Bergmite into a evil. I, I know I think at least a couple of each pack artwork, but you seem to find Typhlosion more, or I'll find the legendaries more. No, yeah, I don't know. So. Let's see if we can't find anything in these packs. Next one. So, when, I think right before I left, the day that I left to my friend's place, they dropped the trailer for Scarlet and Violet. And oh my goodness, so excited. I think that was right. Maybe they had dropped it before, but I think I was around that. Barboach, it's Choi Full Art. Oh my goodness, I'm pulling a lot of the Full Art trainers. I pulled Roxanne not too long ago, and now I pulled Choi. Love my Full Art trainers, just love them. Sweet. Uh, dude, I'm so excited for that game. I'm so, so excited. Now, I will be getting Violet if I haven't already said so, and Kyle will be getting Scarlet. This one, I might actually end up buying the other version. Usually I don't, usually just stick with the one version, but this one, depending on how well the playability of this game is, I might go back and buy the other version later on. Definitely won't buy it like on release day, I'll just play my copy, but I might buy the other version later on. We'll have to see. Oh, it looks so good. And been following uh, Adrian's channel because he will. He's he follows uh, 
a, a Twitter user called the Riddler. And if you guys want to know more about that, of course, go look at Adrian's videos. But all the potential theories are amazing. The one I'm kind of interested in is the one around Palmy. If you guys know the theory around Palmy, uh, I'm a big fan of this beta Pokemon that is a theory around Palmy, and I'm hoping that it's true. It, it was a beta model of an evolution for Raichu. So I'm, I'm really hoping it one's true, but we will have to see. <laughs> Togepi Reverse Hollow into another Thievul. Um, I don't want to do too much theory because I know some people don't want the game spoiled for them, but I'm just so intrigued about this game, I just can't help it. <laughs> and speaking of upcoming things, we have the Pokemon TCG set that is upcoming in a couple weeks. It's so soon, it's just getting here real quick. <laughs> so soon after Astro Radiance. And I believe double energy lotto, that is funny. <laughs> that the full set has just been released. The full main set has just been released and it looks really cool. Most of the cards we already knew and there are a few more, I think that were added to the set now. So just the main set as well as the one secret rare that got leaked looks really cool. Um, I, again, don't want to spoil too much because some people, I think, have been able to avoid spoilers, but definitely, definitely a master set I'm going to do with this one. <laughs> I need to get a couple new binders. I do want to get a Lucario binder, I think, either for the TCG set, uh, the, uh, the Pogo TCG set, or for this one. I haven't decided. Um... Stantler and a Mighty Anna. But I do need to get another binder for that one. The uh, Pogo TCG set is not that big. It's a little bit bigger than Celebrations. I think it's 78 cards total. But there's going to be a lot of promos. And I know there's at least the one secret rare. Not sure if there's going to be any more, but I'm sure there'll be more surprises. The full art trainers for all the teams look really cool, and I know those will be coming in collection boxes. So we got Bronzor, Rowlet, <gasps> Ooh, oh my gosh, Zacian V. I don't, oh my gosh, I so wanted to pull this one. This looks so gorgeous. I know I picked uh, Shield, so they made the Zacian card look really cool. I picked the Shield game, and the Zamazenta with a uh, hop in it looks really good, but I'm a big fan of the Zacian card. Oh, I'm so glad I pulled it. I'm so, so glad. And we got a Regigigas behind it. Oh, it's so pretty. I, this artwork floors me. The artwork in this set is just flooring me every time, even on the regular cards. It's just amazing. They did pick the cards in this set so well. <laughs> They're just so, so eye-catching. All the artwork cards that they just... The cards that they picked for this set, sorry, I just kind of keep stumbling over my words. But I, I know I've said that before. I feel like the cards in this set aren't, you know, as popular as like the Charizard in Brilliant Stars. However, I feel like they made up for that by picking cards that had just eye-popping, eye-catching artwork. Like this Wish Cash here. <laughs> they just did that and I feel like it balances it out a little bit better because you just want to just keep staring at the cards because they look so good. And Flapple, <laughs> just like that. And we got another Flapple and another Thievul. 
This is the third flapple that we've pulled. I think the last video I did was, that was on triple packs, we pulled two. So a nice little flapple action there. The Zossian guard. That one's definitely going in the background. You will see that one in the background in the next video. Um, I totally lost my train thought. Yes, the Pogo TCG set. The four trainers are promo cards for the team leaders. And of course, we will definitely see the birds again. And I think they're all different kinds of products. So as with the celebrations, I do want to say, just again, be patient. Um, don't go over, don't try to like uh, get pre-orders over MSRP. There's definitely going to be plenty of this set to go around. So if you want to pre-order a specific product, because I think the Radiant Eevee collection on Pokemon Center is actually sold out. Just be patient. Um, if I had to guess, that's going to go right back up. So I I really like that set too. And I had already pre-ordered it. <laughs> Hisuian Samurai V, another hit. I think pulled the V star of this one. I think the V is a new one. We'll put that one right there. And look at this pony talk card. It's so pretty. It just captures the game so well in these cards. Um, I know I order, pre-ordered four things through GameStop for Pogo, and then on Pokemon Center, I pre-ordered an ETV that is for my sealed collection, and then the Radiant EV collection. I'm excited to open that up uh, to display the mat. We'll switch out the mat for a little bit to show off that shiny EV mat. And I will find an EV mat <laughs> that has Sylveon in it. This one, I, you might not be able to see all of them. It actually doesn't have Sylveon on it. I think it's an older mat. So, ooh, Bronzong, that is new. That is brand new for us. Ooh, I love, love this artwork too. It's very simplistic design. Um, just kind of like a geometrical design, a lot of straight lines, but it looks very cool. So you got the kind of bronze on uh, chiseled sculpture right behind it too. And we got a Rapidash, so that's really cool. Very, very cool. Another one we can add. So we've been pulling a lot of flapples. We have pulled several, we pulled two Cleavor, so it's nice to pull <laughs> a new character rare. Okay. And as far as uh, product wise for the Pogo set, I think it's just a variety. You're going to have Pokeball tins, you're going to have the mini tins, you're going to have different collection boxes. It's a wide variety. So uh, there is going to be plenty out there for everybody to get. I just know everybody wants a specific one. And oh, I was talking about playmats. I'm, yes, I am going to find one with Sylveon on it and I will switch it out for that. But I know I really want to display that Radiant AV one when I get it. Mighty Anna, another new one. Ah, oh, so pretty. I love the sparkles in Mighty Anna's eyes. And you got Sydney in the back there. <laughs> Just all the food. This is my dog looking at some food. And then we got a Glaceon. <laughs> this is truly my dog looking at some food. He he loves food. <laughs> I'm careful what I give him. He actually just had an, an upset stomach for a few days um, from dog food. So, <laughs> but yeah, he, he absolutely loves food. <laughs> I go to the vet, it's easy to keep his, to keep him occupied with some treats while he gets checked out, so. <laughs> oh man, having such good luck. And these packs have been sitting in the closet for a little bit. So I am so glad that I actually pulled some good character rares so far. And we still have a couple of packs left. So maybe we can pull even more character rares. 
I love to see that weird ear if possible. Ralts, reverse hollow, uh, gape jaw bog, and an Adam and hollow. So, so far, no secret rare, just the, or at least from these packs, but we've had some pretty good luck. I have definitely been eyeing the Zacian card. It's so pretty. And finding that I pulled the Zacian before Zamazenta, now I just need that to, um, honestly, just for Zamazenta collection, since I've seen to have almost every Zamazenta card, uh, ultra rare card. <laughs> okay, so we got Magnemite, Rolts, Suing Sneasel, Mischievous, Barboach, Reverse Hollow, Betsy Pickaxe, into a Reg Ice. I think it was the first time I pulled that Reg Ice card. I feel like I've pulled all the other Reggies. <laughs> I know we pulled a Reggie Steel, but I think that's the first time I pulled a Reg Ice. Alright, last pack. I actually went through these pretty quick, so I just kind of get into a groove whenever I'm talking about some upcom upcoming stuff I'm really excited about. And as far as for the new generation, I am still torn between Sprigatito and Fred Coco. Um, I know Quacks of the Gang is pretty strong, but I'm torn between the two. I really want to see the final Evos of both of us for a pick. Uh, so, I'm hoping they look pretty good. Reverse Hello Cone B into another Reg Eyes. So what are the chances of that? But we did not do too bad. We actually had two hits out of the regular set the Hisuian Samurai V and the Choi Full Art, which is awesome. And then we got some characters. We got a duplicate with that Flapple. But we got some new ones the Mighty Anna and the Bronzong and the Zacian V. Actually, I'm gonna double check real quick. To make sure that one is new. So I got the Bob Snow, Flapple, Kingdra Flasmo, the Lynx, Cleavor. Yep, that one is new. <laughs> the Zapdos is the only V character rare that I pulled, so. And just the Zacian is absolutely beautiful. I did just this. I can't get over it, so. <laughs> it's one of those, it's, it, the Path of the Peak is gonna hang out there in the background for a while. I'm gonna put the Zacian up. I may move the Charizard. It, Charizard's been hanging out for a little bit, but don't worry, Charizard's not going far. It's probably just going right up here. Because <laughs> I am still trying to finish up some Brilliant Stars cards, and I need to open up more Brilliant Stars, but I've been stashing away some Brilliant Stars packs for the end of the year, so I think I have enough right now. I hit a goal probably and wanted to stash away. So any that I get now, I'm definitely be opening, so. so. I think I'm going to look for probably some collection boxes. I keep thinking about opening up another Cleavor V-Star box since I had such good luck with the first one, so I might grab that. Um, but I will say, be aware, Target has also increased some prices. I think it's just Pokemon increasing their prices on product overall, which is, cause them from the inflation so it's kind of sucks but it's just how things are i think gamestop right now isn't affected yet but i won't be surprised if their prices go up a little bit too so just noticed it on single packs and atvs so far some of the collection boxes are still the same price some are actually on sale on target just i would check online and in stores i think they're on sale online but I'm probably gonna flock more towards GameStop at the moment. Um, at least for ETVs, so. But that is all I have for you guys. We will have some mail next week. I should have a couple of pieces of mail. I definitely have one here. I should have one more, that's really cool, so. But that is all I have for you, and uh, you guys have an amazing Friday. Um, if you're opening up some asteroids, I wish you the best luck on that opening. If you're opening cards in general, I wish you all the luck. I think the building battles released today too. So if you're getting some building battles, I think they're pretty busted. So, <laughs> but 
I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, take care, sleep well, and good night.